feel like we're so far away. Oh my goodness, you guys are like so far. So, hi, how are you guys? So, I redid my room a little bit, nothing too crazy. Obviously, I've moved where I'm sitting. I painted the walls. This wall over here is like a blushy pink. I'm not quite done yet. I still have some stuff to do. But once it's all done, I'll give you guys like a little tour. I do have like a room tour video up that I kind of go over everything in my room. It's kind of old though. I probably should do like an updated one, but that's not why we're here today. So today we're gonna do a little favorites video. I haven't done one in a very, very long time, so I thought it would kind of be a good idea to do one. I have a lot of products right now that I'm like so in love with. So I have my little basket, my little box. Let's just get started. So I do, oh shoot, hold on. I forgot something in the bathroom. I'll be right back. Do you guys like my dress? You're probably not gonna be able to see it that well because it's just like a black dress. I tied it in a little knot. It's from Target. It's cute, right? It's just like a little sleeveless dress. I also have the tie-dye one. It's just so comfortable with like little sneakers. So cute. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm going to start with skincare and like everything that's not makeup. So let's talk about this guy first. So this is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser. I've always heard people talk about this. For some reason in my head, this was like an exfoliating cleanser because it says exfolicate. But it's really not. So this has AHAs, pumpkin, papaya, and pineapple enzymes, and it says it removes oil, makeup, and surface impurities. So you can see how much I've used. I'm like already down here. I freaking love this cleanser. So it's more on the pricey side. Kate Somerville is quite an expensive brand, but this is so good. I like that it gets off makeup. It makes my face feel clean without feeling like stripped or too, too clean where it feels like really dry. So I just have been loving this. Now it is more on the pricey side. I still love the ceramic slip from Sunday Riley. That's like my favorite. But I would say this is probably tied with the Sunday Riley one. This one is really, really good. And it smells like key lime pie. It doesn't have any little bits of anything in it. I don't know if I was the only one that kind of thought that because of the name. I'm like, I don't want a cleanser that's gonna exfoliate my skin every day because that's not good for your skin. But this is just so like silky and smooth and it rinses away really well, doesn't burn my eyes. It just does everything that I want a cleanser to do. And I'm kind of obsessed. Another skincare product. So Pharmacy had sent over this Honeymoon Glow and I've heard people talk about this as being kind of similar to Good Jeans. It has AHAs, I think BHA, AHA, BHA, uh, formulated with 14% AHA, BHA. Uh, it's a multi-correctional night serum that resurfaces skin for a smoother, youthful looking, glowing complexion. You guys, this is freaking amazing. Now, you guys know I love me a good acid on my skin. AHAs, BHAs, like just pour it on me. Soak me down with acids. This is really, really good. Now, do I think it's as good as Good Jeans? I would say probably not. It's like Good Jeans' little sister. But if you've been wanting to try Good Jeans, but you don't want to spend the like $85, which I totally understand, this I think is in like the $30 to $40 range, so it's much cheaper. I've been without Good Jeans for a good while, probably like two months I wanna say, and I've just been using this. I've not had any problems with my skin. I haven't noticed like texture coming back, and usually if I don't use Good Jeans for a while, I'm like, my skin looks so dull, it's just not doing good right now. Like this is totally doing the trick. Will I stop using Good Jeans? No, but I will definitely incorporate this into my skincare. Like, I don't know, maybe one day I will stop using Good Jeans. But this stuff, you guys, amazing. If you wanna dip your toe into the AHA, BHA pool, amazing way to do that. This stuff is bomb. Okay, so everything else is makeup. Oh, I have something else. What the heck did I do with it? I have this like little face, like razor thing, not razor, it's like a little 
hair remover thing and I wanted to show it to you guys. I don't know what I did with it. If I find it, I'll pop it in. Okay, here's this little flawless something something. I'll have it linked down below. I love this little thing because it gets off whatever hair you need it to get off, but it never tugs on your skin. It never like grabs a hair and yanks it out. It's just so smooth. It feels like it's doing nothing, but it's actually removing your hair. I use this on my stash all the time. You guys have seen me use it. Oh, I look great. Um, yeah, this is amazing. I totally thought this was going to be a gimmick, but it really, really works. And the only thing you need to do every, I would say like every four to five months, change out this little top. It just kind of pops off and you can get these at Walmart. I've seen them. I think I've only seen them at Walmart, but Target might have them. Totally thought this was a gimmick, but it is amazing. I use it for my peach fuzz. I use it everywhere on my face. I don't use a razor anymore or like one of those little, oh, let me show you. I don't use these kind of things anymore to get the hair off. This is the only thing that I use. And they have a smaller one for like your eyebrows. Amazing. Okay, moving on to makeup. I do have some unfavorites as well. So let me briefly talk about this guy. I think you guys know how much I love this. The Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. If you have oily or combination skin, you need this. It's not even like, oh, you should try it. You need to go and buy this. Just buy the little one at Ulta. I have two full-size ones now because this was on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. But before that, it was always sold out. So this is my second little mini. I like this because you don't have to like mess around with like pressing certain areas in or oh don't rub it in too much because it's going to pill up on your face. I squeeze it on my hand, just rub my hands together and just kind of throw it on two seconds, good to go. Fills my pores, keeps me matte, prolongs my foundation, like everything that I need a primer to do, this does and it does it better than any other primer has ever done in my life. This is the best primer that I've ever ever used. We are so committed. We are like so monogamous. There is no other primer in my life. I would totally be cheating on her and I'm a one primer kind of gal. You're weird. Oh, another amazing product. Revlon Candid Loose Powder. So I always saw Tati talking about this and I'm like, I own that powder. Why am I not trying it? So I actually used it in a get ready with me video with you guys. I've used no other loose powder since that video. Like this is the only powder that has been on this grill. It is so, 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 so good. It's so light. I don't know how to explain it. It's a loose powder. It does everything you want it to do. But when you put it on, it doesn't look overly dry or matte. It's just like the nicest, lightest feeling powder. The best drugstore powder I think that I've used. The only one that I could really compare it to would be like the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which is heavier than this one. This one is lighter, but it gives you the same results. Probably the best drugstore powder that I've used. Like I have a ton of high-end powders and I've been using this one every single day. It is so good. Another Revlon product that I am Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. The Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. This is totally a drugstore dupe for the Anastasia Omrizi highlighter. Look how gorgeous that is. Are you kidding me? It's so good. I feel like drugstore highlighters it's really hard to find one that's not like dry and crumbly. They're either dry and crumbly or they're too creamy and like really heavy feeling. This is so amazing. Like, look at that, that's freaking Revlon Drugstore, like $10. I can't stop using it. I love this so stinking much. Like these two products have been in my everyday makeup routine. I use them pretty much every day. And this also on the eyes is an eyeshadow. Freaking forget it. God bless it. Ooh, speaking of really good eyeshadow, look, look how adorable. 
the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. This one's in Cream and Sugar. I love these. I also have uh, Rose Water. I used it in a video. I'll put it up in a card. These are just so nice. I'm not going to swatch that light matte because you're not even going to be able to see it. But look how beautiful. They're so pretty. Look how nice. Really, really great eyeshadows. They are $3. You can't even get a coffee for $3. They are so inexpensive. I got this at Walmart, but I've also seen them at Target. Tell me that's not good. I like this one better than Rosewater, but that one's also good. I just prefer these shades. This is amazing. I think e.l.f. totally killed it. The mattes are blendable and pigmented, and the metallics are so bright and amazing. Oh, girl, I'm hooked. Okay, let's talk blush. So, I have two from Persona. There's one that I especially love. Look at this adorable little packaging. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the one. This is Georgia. I am a sucker for a peach blush. There's just something about peach blush that I cannot get enough of. My hand's wet. Okay, here we go. This is Georgia. She's freaking my queen. Like, I bow down before her every day. It's so pretty. It just gives you the most beautiful... I have it on today. It gives you, like, the most beautiful little pop. And the formula on these is so good because even though they look matte, there's a little tiny bit of a sheen to them. Not even a sheen, just like a little bit of life. This one is caramel. If you like pink blush, you guys, oh my God, the formula is so like nice and soft and smooth feeling without being like crumbly. Look how beautiful. The best things that Persona has ever done. I think Persona is a really, really great brand. These blushes, best thing that they've ever done. I am in love with Georgia. Oh, so good. Another blush that I am just, I mean, when you see this, you're going to know why. What more do you need in your life? Nothing. This is Darling from Jouer. <gasps> you guys, it's so good. Jouer blush duos are amazing. Like, there's not one that they've ever come out with that I'm like, nah, don't love it. I'm always like, oh my gosh, how did they always make them so good? They're just so beautiful. These two shades mixed together now you can't have like a deep skin tone these are wait did that even show up hold on these are not going to show up on a deep skin tone but they did come out with one for a deeper skin tone that i'll pop in and show you guys but if you're like light to medium this is just so beautiful Okay, here's the deeper one. This one is called passion. I can't swatch it because i'm sending it to one of my friends how pretty is that on a deeper skin tone? Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. On deep skin, this is going to be everything. So easy, so blendable, so like natural, but you can kind of pump it up with the more peachy shade if you want a little bit more color. I cannot. I love this so much. Jue, how do you keep doing these things to me? I want answers. Okay, let's talk about this lip gloss because I actually need to put more on. It's what I'm wearing. Oh my god. If I could only pick one product this month, this would be it. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know. So this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Gloss in the shade Ascension. Look at that color. That is a color that brands very, very rarely get right. It's like a cool toned dusty like baby pinky nude that was a very long description i love this color so much i don't have anything else on my lips just the lip gloss i don't even know if you're going to be able to see it because it's so light 
but that like cool toned pink just gets me. It's so good. And the formula on this, it's so soft and comfortable. Not goopy, not sticky, not greasy, not weird. So amazingly comfortable. I've already bought backups because it's limited edition, so don't say I didn't warn you. Um, I got this from Walmart and I found it online at Walmart as well, but a lot of people said you were having trouble finding it on their website. I think it kind of goes by area, so your area just might not have it, so you might have to look elsewhere. But if you can find this, buy two because it is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Freaking CoverGirl. Killed it. Best CoverGirl product I've ever used in my entire life. Kill me now. Ooh, I'm starting to sweat. That lip gloss got me sweating. Ooh. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, you guys. Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Lip Oil in Skinny Dip. Oh my gosh. This is very, very unique to my collection. I do have lip oils, but I don't have any with this formula that look like that. And a lot of times lip oils are very thin thin and even though it's an oil it's like dry feeling it's so weird lip oils can either be really really good or really really bad there's usually no in between this formula is so glossy and shiny and comfortable and not only are you getting the lip oil but you're getting this gorgeous nude color I love this it sits on my vanity and I wear it all the time Another lip oil that I love is the new one from Jouer. Now this one has no color, no scent. It's just a lip oil. It's so like plush on your lips. Look at this big doe foot. She is not playing. That is a monstrosity and I love it. It's so nice and like thick, but not in a goopy, sticky kind of way. So soft, so comfortable, and plush. It almost has like a gel feel to it. I love, I love, I love everything that I'm showing you guys. Like this month's favorites, I'm really, really hooked on all these products. Gotta give a little mention to the new Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. So I love the original, I have it right here. I've been through like seven or eight of these. It's pretty much the only setting spray that I wear. So when they came out with this mattifying one, I was like, oh, it's gonna have like little bits of powder. You know, whenever you use a mattifying setting spray, it has powder and the little bits get all over your face. I love that this is just a mist. It doesn't feel like it has anything in it. And I'll compare it to the original one. The sprayer on the mattifying one is a little bit more offensive, but I feel like that could also just be mine. I feel like every sprayer that I get on the original is always a little bit different, but always really good. So this one is a little bit like, I don't even know if it's that it's offensive, but it's like a very wide, like, I only need to spray it for one second. It's like, and that's it. You, it's not one of these where you're like misting it. So I'm hoping the next one that I get is a little bit more like the original because that one is just like, it's like angels kissing your face. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I keep trying, hold on, let me move this here. I keep trying to show you guys, but it's not working. Okay, this is the matte one. Just listen. You could kind of see that. Now here's the original, listen. Do you hear how it's so much more like shh? And the matte one is just a little bit more offensive. It's not offensive, it's just a little bit stronger of a spray. But I'm obsessed. Like, don't let that deter you from buying this. It's not a bad nozzle, it's just not as perfectly amazing as the original. <laughs> Okay, but needless to say, the best mattifying setting spray ever. Like I've tried so many of them and I always end up like giving them away because I hate them. You win, ding, 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 winner, winner, freaking chicken dinner. Oh, and I have to give a mention to the ColourPop Lippy Balm. 
six dollars and it is so good. It's like my favorite lip balm of the moment. The packaging is so cute. It's comfortable and hydrating. It's not thick, it's not weird, it doesn't dry my lips out, which sounds weird, but a lot of times a lip balm can actually kind of have a reverse effect if it's a crappy lip balm. This is so good, $6, you cannot beat it. ColourPop, you killed it. I love it so much. Oh, and the last thing I want to mention before unfavorites is this little perfume. I just got it. Well, it says cologne. It's Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I found my new signature scent. Oh, it smells so good. I could cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm not one for like sugary, sweet, girly, like cotton candy smells. I want it a little bit more earthy, a little bit more like musky. And I don't even know what the notes are in here. I'll pop them up on the screen. I'm telling you, this is my new signature scent. This was my birthday gift from Sephora. Like you can pick from like three or four things. I'm so glad that I picked this because I've never smelled it before, but I know Jo Malone fragrances are so good. I've had a few of them. This is by far the best one. If you're into more like musky, I don't want to say like manly, but not super girly, like sugary scents, just go to... Let's try that again. Just go to Sephora and smell this. You will be hooked. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, two unfavorites. Oh, Too Faced, I'm so sorry. These were a huge flop for me. So this is the Turn Up the Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palette in the shade Medium. These were just a mess. They're just a mess. Okay, so the Soft Focus side, which is the middle shade, is kind of supposed to be like the Hourglass powders where it's just like a very thin powder but it's kind of dry it's kind of like I don't want that on my face I've had it on my face and I've not been happy with it it just kind of leaves a bit of almost like a white cast in a way and it it is not the hourglass powders by any stretch of the imagination so then you have the glow side which is the best shade in the palette it's just like a regular gold highlighter Nothing to write home about by any means. It's it's just kind of there. The Dazzle shade is where things really fall apart. It's like, sorry, my camera died. So I just blended it out a little bit. It's, it has like weird pieces of like shimmer in it, but it's also like dry and kind of crumbly at the same time. I thought maybe I would like the Dazzle shade on my eyes. But it just kind of gets everywhere. You get a ton of fallout. And it doesn't really do as much as I need it to. It just doesn't really do anything. I feel like these could have been really, really, really good. But the formula is just kind of dry. You don't get enough, like, bang for your buck you're not getting enough of like a kick it it just didn't work for me and I tried wearing it different ways layering them in different ways and, and every time I would wear this I was just kind of disappointed with the way my makeup would look I really did want to like this but unfortunately it was kind of a mess so the last thing I have is a lip balm that was $17 the Lana Lips Banana Balm Lip Sheen okay Remember, this is only six. <laughs> so you get this like intense banana scent, but the formula is just like straight up petroleum jelly. And it also has this like shimmer in it that looks kind of red. And when this wears off of your lips, you're left with little bits of shimmer on your lips, which looks terrible. 
I can't get past the scent. I know it's banana. I knew it was going to be banana, but the banana scent really hangs around for quite a while. And maybe if the formula was good, I could look past the scent. But this is just like straight up petroleum jelly. And I've always heard people talk about Lips, like that it's really good. Maybe the original is good. This one for me, not good. And for 17 freaking dollars, Lips, who do you think you are, girl? I'm not thrilled. Okay, so that's going to do it for my favorites video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you're loving at the moment. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a what I eat in a day video coming with kind of some little workout stuff thrown in because I've kind of been on this health, health journey. I've lost some weight. I've been working out. I've been taking care of my body. So I'm filming that. Hopefully that will answer everything you guys are curious about. So I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot to show you guys something. These glasses, I love them. I got them from Amazon. I will put them down below. How's my battery dying? Are you kidding me? Look, my battery's about to die, but look. Oh. So they're blue like glasses. So if you're on the computer a lot, if you're on your phone a lot, and you know how your eyes get really strained, you guys know what blue like glasses do. They're like super popular. I have one pair, but of course I needed another pair. I saw these and I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. I love them and you can wear them like all day. You don't have to only wear them when you're on the computer because they're so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I filmed this entire video with my freaking AirPod in. Are you kidding me? I'm officially that douchebag. Oh, this is a favorite. Look at this little case I got for my AirPods from Amazon for $5. Now I have the AirPod Pros. I don't know. They have like the actual like soft little earbud. I hate regular Apple headphones. They're a little bit pricier, but so worth it. But they had a little case on Amazon. So cute. $5. Like, come on. By the time this whole thing is over, I will own everything on Amazon's website. It's a good day. It's a good day. What is she doing back there? <laughs> is he running the vacuum? Where's my gun? It's a gun. Uh, so let's just jump in. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back. Ew, that was so like YouTuber. Hey guys, welcome back. I miss you so much. Oh my god, I love you guys like so much. YOLO! <laughs> hey guys. Could you put a little dirt? What? <laughs> I haven't even started filming yet and I'm already over myself. And I'm sweating. Oh yes, oh my god. The can is feeling cool and refreshed. Is this like wrong of me? Does anybody else put a fan up their dress? Definitely. Like my legs are hot. Don't be dirty. Get your mind out of the gutter, people! Me every day of my life, just broken. So. Sometimes I wish I had a clapper. Who remembers the clapper? The commercial, the ladies like in bed, she's like, <laughs> used to be a bunch. <laughs> I was just totally in a trance for like five minutes. Is this lip gloss? I mean, you're looking at my lips and you're like, wow, I'm in love with her lips. I want to do things to. Let's not go there. I tried to put this I Love Camel Toes pin on my jean jacket and Emma for forbade it. Forbade? She forbid me from doing it. She said she would not be okay with it. So I'm just gonna wear this one that says Mother of Unicorns. Not as good as Camel Toes, but we gotta take what we can get, people. Am I too old to put a pin on my jean jacket? I don't think so. Look how cute. It's adorable. No, I don't think I want a pen. I am too old for it. Ugh. I mean, I'm only 29. I'm not that old. If you believe that, I have a bridge I'd like to sell you.
Guys, the other day I was out in the street. I was passing Frisbee with my kids. And I dropped my phone, no case on it because I took the case off because this little charging thing that I have, it's plugged in. But it doesn't work right with my case. Basically threw my phone across the street. Like, my phone went for miles. How did it not crack? I have no idea. Not crack. How? How are you not cracked? It's a mystery that is keeping me awake at night. It'll probably keep you awake now, I'm sorry. I'll leave on that note. I often wonder what is wrong with my brain.